Hi, my name is Laurie, and today I'm going to show you some helpful tricks for chromatic scales on the French horn. Now this has been a little bit of a struggle for me, especially in the early years, because there's such a repeating pattern on the horn. As you can see, there are only three notes plus a trigger if you have a double horn. And so you're going to be fingering notes or different notes the same way and it is easy to zone out and lose your place. So my first caution would be, don't just learn tactily and think, oh, I'll be fine, because your brain will zone out and you'll think you're on a certain note, but you're really not. So try to visualize the chromatic on the page as you play, or sometimes what I do is I say in mentally, the note that I'm on at all times, so I don't lose my place. I'd also like to tell you that there are multiple websites where you can get fingering charts that will show you, you know, which notes to play and how to finger them. And this actually includes the F horn fingerings as well as the B flat fingerings. If you want to watch my fingers, I'm going to show you just how many repeating patterns there are in the chromatic scale. And I'm going to start on the low F below middle C. Once again, my name is Laurie, and today I showed you a few helpful tricks on the chromatic scale for French horn.